This is Kahan. Hi. Kahan would like to bring out her cheekbones, but she's never even attempted contouring out of fear that it would look scary and fake. Mm hmm. But the truth is, contouring can look totally natural. You just have to remember that a little contouring goes a long way. I I could use a Getting your makeup right isn't always easy. No one is born a makeup pro, but Allure is here to help you get the look you want. You've got questions? We've got answers. This is Allure's Beauty Basics. First, here's what you're going to need to contour correctly. An angled contouring brush, a contouring kit, and a medium brush. Start by picking up a fat angled contouring brush. Then suck in your cheeks so you can find the natural line of indentation in your face. Now that you know where to contour, grab your contouring kit. This one? That's it. Because you're trying to create a shadow under your cheekbones, dip your brush in the darkest shade in the kit and tap off any excess. Then suck in your cheeks again and work from the tops of the hollows inward. You want to shade along and just below the sunken area and blend it all really well. Just be sure to stop about an inch from the corner of your mouth because if you get any closer, then the contouring looks aging, which I'm sure you don't want. Oh, no, definitely not. Mm -hmm. So you can see now that your cheekbones are already starting to pop. Mm -hmm. Next, you're going to dust the light, shimmery highlighting shade across the tops of your cheekbones. It's going to help balance the look and bring out your bone structure even more. Mm -hmm. Over here? Right there. Using a medium-sized brush, dab the highlighter over the tops of your cheekbones. The only thing that's missing is actual color. And we'll get that by adding some blush to the apples of your cheeks. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. For more beauty basics, subscribe to the Allure channel.